Hey everybody, my name's Nate, and today I wanted to welcome you back for a quick Vesla setup video. Today we wanted to cover the battery installation as well as the basic programming of the Vesla ESC. Before I begin, however, I did want to note that in this video, as far as for the setup, this is an 8S setup for the Vesla. So first we're going to start with the, uh, the batteries. These are LiPo batteries, which we do sell with XT150 connectors. You can follow the link in the description. What's nice about these is that they fit perfectly into the battery tray here. So to install, we're going to make sure that we have the cables um, uninhibited, basically. We're going to put them into the corner here. And for the second one, we're going to slide it in like so into the battery tray. And make sure they're all snug in there. Nothing's caught. So next you're gonna to wanna to locate the serial cable which is in the accessories box. And we're gonna to wanna to slide it into the ESC um, or we're gonna attach it to the ESC cables. You can see right here that there's a little notch on the cables as well as a little groove to fit. So what we do is you put the notch on the serial cable and slide it in. Make sure that the red is with the red, red, red. And then on the other end, it's the same deal. You're gonna to have to slide the notch into the notch on the black side. You can see the notch. Just slide them in. Make sure that they're completely in so that there's no um, chance of them falling out. And so now to connect the ESC with the LiPo batteries, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to the just the ESC cable right now. So you can see that this one's coming out of the ESC. This is the red cable. First, you're gonna to wanna to connect it to the red cable on the battery. So don't worry about the other one, just, just really pay attention to the red one, and you're gonna make sure you connect it to the ESC cable here. So red to red, make sure you push it all the way in, there's no gap. And then now we go to the black side of the ESC, you connect it to the black cable, make sure it's all the way in. And then the remaining cables on either side, you just plug in here to the serial cable, make sure everything's snug, and do the same over here. And there you go, now it's connected to the power source. So before we do anything else, you wanna make sure that either the wheels are off of your car or the chassis is lifted to make sure that there's no accident when we start to program and then everything starts to go. You don't want anybody getting hurt. You don't want anything like flying off the table that you're working on. So just make sure that your car is in a safe space for you to be working on it. And here we, uh, we actually took the wheels off, so it's a little bit safer. So now we're going to set up the ESC to recognize the throttle range of our transmitter. Um, we're going to make sure that the throttle here is in neutral position before we turn it on. We turn on our transmitter and now we're going to set the calibration on the ESC. So there are two buttons here. There's a set and a power button. To start, we're going to hold the set and then we're going to press the power button. It'll glow red on the LED, release the power button the set button and it will continue to beep. You hear there's no stop in the beeping. Make sure that it's still in neutral and press the set button. It will beep once and show a green light. Put full throttle, press it again, it'll beep twice. Now go full brake, press it one more time, it'll go three times and then beep consecutively. So now you have it set. We have it calibrated right now to be uh, throttle, brake, and reverse, but we'll show you in a second how to change that. So now you can see that. throttle, throttle, brake, and then reverse. So now we're going to start to program the LiPo cell to recognize that it's an eight cell battery. To start, we hold the set button here. We press the power button. The LED glows red, release the power, holding the set button here. One green, hold the set until there's two green, and let go of the set button here. Now that we're in the, uh, the LiPo cell programming menu, we're gonna start pressing the set button through the range of um, options. You have two cell, three cell. So we're gonna start to click the set button. Two flashes means two cell. You can hear it here. Three flashes means three cell. We're gonna press the set button again. Four is four cell. You can hear four, one, two, three, four. Press it again. Oops. That's one long for five, that means six cell. And then click it one more time. That's one long, one short. 
that means that you're in the right, um, sorry, you're in the right option here. You can hear it. One long, one short, that's eight cell. Listen. Now, when you're done with this, when you're finished programming, you can just press the power button and it will save your configuration. So the next step, we're gonna be showing you how to change the low voltage cutoff. Now, when you first get the ESC by default, it's gonna be set to the intermediate low voltage cutoff option, which in most cases, this is gonna be perfectly fine. However, here we just wanna show you how to get to the menu so you can change it. If you don't like your intermediate low voltage cutoff, you can change it to a low or a high voltage cutoff. Now, the purpose of this is to uh, slow down the car or just prevent the uh, battery cells from draining as your car runs for too long. So sometimes um, this can be something that you wanna do. However, most of the time, you just wanna leave it in its intermediate low voltage cutoff setting. So to get to this menu, you wanna hold down the set button, press the power button, release, keep holding the set button. It's gonna beep once, it's gonna beep twice, then on three, you're gonna let go. So you hear how it beeps three times. That means that you're in auto or intermediate low voltage cutoff. If you wanna change it, just press the set button. That was four for high. And then if you wanna to get to low, make sure it flashes twice. However, most cases you're just gonna to wanna to leave it in intermediate. So we're gonna make sure that it flashes three times. And then once we're finished programming, just press the power button to switch off the ESC. So if at any time you're having trouble in this process, you can just do a full reset and start again. To do that, you just press the power button here, make sure that the ESC is on. It'll beep. And then just hold the set button for three seconds to do a full restart. So before you go running your vehicle, you do wanna make sure that your batteries are strapped down because you don't want them falling out. If you are having any issues with the ESC getting it into programming mode, we do uh, recommend that you check your connectors and your wiring, especially if you're resoldering your version of the connectors. Now, if you don't wanna to have to deal with any of that, um, these batteries, as well as the connectors, which are XT150 connectors are for sale. They are a perfect fit and the connectors work right out of the box. So I'm Nate from Kraken. Thank you guys for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time.